Assalamu alaikum friends and welcome to Flavor 10. Today I'm gonna make a delightful cake which is tender, moist, juicy, simply delectable. And good thing about this cake is, it is super easy to assemble, you don't have to make any syrups, you don't have to beat, nothing. Just mix dry and wet ingredients and bake. Can be assembled in just a few minutes. So let's begin. We will start with the base of the cake as this will be our top side. It is a 10 inch pan and I am using a silicone mold but you can use any which one is available to you. But use with a heavy bottom pan or non-stick ones as they are easier to release in the end. Some people also use cast iron frying pans and they work also great. I am also using a baking tray underneath because of two reasons. One, I am using a silicone mold and with the tray it's easier to lift. And second, juice drippings during baking will stay in the tray. Now pour 80 grams of melted butter, then sprinkle 100 grams of brown sugar. I took half half like 50 grams of dark brown sugar and 50 grams of light brown sugar. Here keep in mind that if you use only dark brown sugar, you will get a darker color on the top and vice versa. Sprinkle evenly all over the pan. Then arrange drained pineapple slices in a pattern. And add raspberries to add flavor and color. I am placing flat side of the raspberries downwards as when you pour the batter they will not displace. Here you can use any kind of fruit strawberries, cherries, pecans or walnuts. It's up to you. Then set the pan aside. Let's start with dry ingredients. Take 225 grams of cake flour and sift it. Add half teaspoon of salt. 300 grams of granulated sugar and 15 grams of baking powder. Now add wet ingredients, 220 grams of milk, I'm using whole milk, 20 grams of lemon juice or pineapple juice, 100 grams vegetable oil and 2 whole eggs. Add zest of one lemon. This would bring wonderful aroma and flavor to the cake. Now whisk everything up. until no lumps can be seen. Now 
keep whisking for one to two minutes. We need a smooth batter. It's pretty smooth now. Spray walls of the pan with cooking spray. If you don't have a cooking spray, no problem, you can brush the sides with butter. And carefully pour the batter. Now bake in preheated oven for 40 to 45 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Take out cake and test its doneness by inserting a skewer. If it comes out clean, it means it's done. If not, then give it a little bit more time. Let the cake rest for 5 to 10 minutes so that the texture develops, but not more. Otherwise, sugar syrup underneath would start to thicken and stick to the pan, and it would be difficult to invert. So here is the tip. Invert the cake while it is still hot. Now put a cake stand or plate in which you want to serve over the cake, and then pick up tray and flip. Now slowly, slowly lift the pan. You don't have to rush here. I am using a silicone mold, that's why I didn't slide a knife on the sides of the mold, but if you are using another mold, then run a knife on the sides first to release any cake on the walls and then invert. When you feel that it's released from all sides, then lift fully. Here it is. Ah, oh, so pretty. Caramelized butter, sugar and pineapple juices seeping into the cake, making it so moist, tender and juicy. It's my all-time favorite cake. Serve it either warm or cold, it's simply scrumptious. See how easy to make, yet delicious to eat. I'm serving it with a fresh cream and with berries. Enjoy! Hope you liked today's recipe. See you next week with another delicious recipe. Take care. Bye-bye.